In this screencast, I want to show you how to use the GeoGebra software to create really cool demos of rotated solids. And we're going to use the online version at GeoGebra.org. And if you haven't created your own account, you want to do that. It's totally free. It's open source. And in GeoGebra.org on the home page, we're going to pick the 3D calculator. Okay, and before I do anything, I'm going to go to settings, and this is just personal stuff. I'm going to take off the plane. Um, I'm going to show the grid, and then under the settings right here, I'm going to make the y-axis vertical, because that's what my students are used to seeing, and I'm going to take off the z-axis. Uh, these, are, Like I said, these are just personal preferences right here. Okay, so here's my plane. And uh, you can see I can click and drag and move it around and up and down and do all kinds of stuff with it. All right. Now, I'm going to input a function. I'll call it f of x. And let's do uh, 4x minus x squared. And then I'm going to do a comma, and I'm going to graph it between 0 and 4. So I'm going to go 0 and then I'm going to click the less than or equal to button and then X and then less than or equal to and then 4. So you notice that it limits my uh, function to 0 and 4 and let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Alright, next I'm going to create a slider. So I'm going to say N equals 0 degrees. And I get a slider from 0 to 360. And now here comes the cool part. I'm going to use a surface function. So I'm going to say uh, surface. And it tells you what to do. Let me go back to there. It tells you what you need right here. Okay, so I'm going to put in the function f, comma, and then the slider in, comma. And then I'm going to rotate this around the x axis close parentheses enter and now we're ready to go so I'm going to watch what happens over on the graphing window as I move the slider look at that that is so cool okay now I can open it I can slide it around to 360 and then I can go in here with my mouse I can drag it I can look at it from any perspective I want Okay, if I was doing a problem with washers, I would do another function, and I would do a surface for the first function, and then a surface for the second function, and you would see the two surfaces, one inside the other. All right, what if the axis is not the x-axis? Oh, by the way, I can make a simple change right here. Change that to y, and now it rotates around the y-axis. Okay. All right. Now, if I want to uh, have a different axis of rotation, uh, different axis of rotation than the x-axis or the y-axis, then here's what you can do. You're going to go to the geometry tool window, and I'm going to pick the line tool down here, and let's put a line right here. Y equals negative two. When I go back to the algebra window, it's now created a line. It's called it G. And I'm going to do the surface function again. I'm going to rotate function F for N degrees around G. And let's see what happens when we do that. So here we go. And now it's rotated around the line y equal negative 2. All right, so I found this to be really useful when I'm teaching volumes of rotated solids to my geometry students uh, because it's a lot easier to do this than it is to try and, try and draw a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional whiteboard. Hope it works for you.